Solving a 3x3 three three system of equations using substitution. We are going to look at the following system of equations in three variables. x plus 2y plus z equals 10, 2x minus y plus 3z equals negative 5, and 2x minus 3y minus 5z equals 27. So we have the three variables, x, y, and z. We must have three equations in order to solve the system. So our first step, we are going to solve one of the equations for one of the variables. And technically it doesn't matter which equation, which, which variable we choose, but there are certain choices that we can make that will be a little bit easier. For example, this first equation has two variables without a coefficient. So we're, I'm going to choose this equation and I'm going to solve for one of the variables. I'm going to solve for x. I could just as easily, easily have solved for z because z also has no coefficient. I'm going to subtract 2y and subtract z from both sides of the equation. And I now have x equals 10 minus 2y minus z. Next step. We are going to substitute what we just found, x equals 10 minus 2y minus z, into both of the other equations. So these are the two other equations. I'm going to first write them down. So 2x minus y plus 3z equals negative 5. 2x minus 3y minus 5z equals 27. And I'm going to substitute 10 minus 2y minus z in for x in both of them. So the first equation becomes 2 instead of times x, since it's times 10 minus 2y minus z. I still have the minus y plus 3z equals negative 5. And the second equation becomes 2 times 10 minus 2y minus z minus 3y minus 5z equals 27. So as we go along and solve this, please be writing this down and please pause the video to make sure you understand where we got each equation and what we're doing in each step, especially when we go to the next slide. In between slides, it's going to be a little bit hard to follow, so pause it and make sure you're writing everything down. So now we have these two equations right here, and we are going to distribute. So the first equation distribute the 2 times 10 and get 20, 2 times negative 2y and get negative 4y, 2 times negative z and get negative 2z, and then I'll write the rest of the equation, minus y plus 3z equals negative 5. We're going to do the same to the second equation in a moment. But first, we're going to take this equation that we have and combine our like terms. I'm going to combine the negative 4y and the negative y. I get negative 5y. I'm going to, I only have, I have the negative 2z and the positive 3z. Those combine to be plus 1z. And then I'm left with, with the 20, which I'll subtract from both sides. And negative 5 minus 20 gives us negative 25. Now I'm going to distribute in the second equation. And that will be on the next slide. But I'm going to do 2 times 10, 2 times negative 2y, and 2 times negative z. And I will get 20 minus 4y minus 2z. And then filling in the rest of the equation, minus 3y minus 5z equals 27. We'll again combine like terms. Negative 4y minus 3y is negative 7y. Negative 2z minus 5z, negative 7z. I'm going to take the 20 and subtract it from both sides. 27 minus 20 is 7. So my second equation that results is negative 7y minus 7z equals 7. So both of the equations that I circled in purple, I'm going to write again here so that we can see them together. So I'm left with negative 5y plus z equals negative 25. 
and negative 7y minus 7z equals 7. So this is our new system of equations in two variables. So step three, we're now going to solve one of these two new equations for either one of the variables. And again, it doesn't matter which equation or which variable, but certain choices make our actions a little bit easier. I'm I do see that one of my equations has no coefficient, so it will be easier to solve this first equation for the variable z. So I'll write the first equation, negative 5y plus z equals negative 25. I'm going to add 5y to both sides, and I get z equals negative 25 plus 5y. Fourth step, we are going to substitute the answer to 3 in the other equation and solve. So, remember my other equation is negative 7y minus 7z equals 7. So, I'm going to substitute negative 25 plus 5y in for z. So, I have negative 7y minus 7 times negative 25 plus 5y equals 7. So negative 7y I'm going to now distribute. I have negative 7 times negative 25 is positive 175. Negative 7 times 5y is minus 35y and equals 7. Let's combine like terms. Negative 7y minus 35y is negative 42y. And I'll subtract 175 from both sides. 7 minus 175 is negative 168. Now I'll divide both sides by negative 42, and we find that y equals positive 4. So we now have one of the solutions to our e equation, or we have solved for one of the variables, I should say. We know, we know what y is. Now we will substitute the answer that we just found in 4 into the answers that we found in 3 and solve. So in 3 we found that z equals negative 25 plus 5y. And now we'll substitute 4 in for y. z equals negative 25 plus 5 times 4. z equals negative 25 plus 20 or z equals negative 5. So now we have solved for our second variable. We now know y and z. We only need to find x now. So 6, we'll substitute both the answers to 5 and 4 into the answer from 1. In 1, we had the answer x equals 10 minus 2y minus z. And we're going to substitute 4 in for y and negative 5 in for z. So x equals 10 minus 2 times 4 minus negative 5. 10 equals, sorry, x equals 10 minus 8 plus 5, or x equals 7. So now I have solved for all three variables. And we write our answers in the form as a coordinate as x comma y comma z in parentheses. So our solution, x is 7, y is 4, z is negative 5. 